Hello, everybody. I have been talking about this wonderful author now for well over a decade, and certainly so for many years on YouTube. I um, have uh, an eight-minute video that uh, she's made for me, but as meant for you, where she uh, outlines who she is and her work. I have said that she is, I've said since the very beginning, she's the only living author that I have a great deal of uh, respect for, and she's incredibly brilliant. Um, many of you have asked me about her. Um, she is an Irish author that has uh, retired uh, to Uganda, although she's still working, so I don't know if using the word retired is exactly accurate. I hope she doesn't scold me for that one. So I'd like to play you her uh, video, Talk to You People. I had requested this from uh, Miss Deidre Carabine because uh, so many of you ask me about her, and of course I have never personally met her. I would uh, love to meet her. And uh, they, uh, many of you have bought her book. Um, she has more than just these two books that I have listed here. The primary one being The Unknown God, Negative Theology in the Platonic Tradition from Plato to Erugina. I say Erugina. She says Erugina. Um, I don't know if that's a difference uh, that uh, she's uh, Irish English versus my uh, crazy American English, but um, she knows a tremendous amount about negative theology and apophaticism, and uh, she's just such really a brilliant author. You know, it's it's hard to be tame in uh, my praise of her because I have incredible praise of her and her work, and I recommend uh, you getting. Um, either one of her books, and she has more than these two, and she has many articles. And uh, right after this, I will play you her uh, eight-minute video. She also has uh, written this one on John Scottish Erugina, or I say Erugina, either way. And it is a brilliant book. These books are available on Amazon and other places. But she's just such a wonderful scholar, such an incredibly sharp mind, um, Women are far superior to men when it comes to intuitive metaphysics, and uh, she's just brilliant. She's just such a brilliant author, and uh, I'm so happy that she made this eight-minute videos that I could show to you. She has given me permission to post this. So she made this video uh, for me, but it is for everybody else. This video is not monetized. I just wanted to introduce her to you, since so many of you have bought her book and uh, would like to hear from her. And my big thanks to Miss Carabine for making this uh, video. I know she has a busy life and things to do, so I really wanted to say a big thank you and uh, big blessings to uh, Miss Deidre Carabine for her wonderful, kind gesture in uh, this video. Thank you, and uh, now her video will proceed. Good afternoon. Uh or good morning or good evening, wherever you are. This is uh, a little introduction to myself and my work that I am sending to uh, Ken on his request because uh, he thought that people might be interested in seeing me in person and uh, hearing me talk about my work. So this is me. My names are Deirdre Carabine author of The Unknown God and the thought of John Scotus Eriugena. And um, I am Irish, as you probably hear from the accent. Um, spent my uh, early academic years in Ireland before moving to Uganda, where I'm now currently retired um, near the equator on the shores of Lake Victoria, quite idyllic in fact. Um, I spent most of my working life in Uganda, so um, saw no reason to move anywhere else after retirement from um, teaching, I must say. I am still doing my own research and the conference thing and publications and so on. So Neoplatonism, I came to Neoplatonism as an undergraduate student. Um, reading um, the early medieval philosophers. And I was struck by a lot of what Augustine said, especially in the Confessiones. And 
that's how I came to Neoplatonism, really, through Augustine. So I eventually wrote a dissertation on um, Augustine, emphasizing his uh, understanding of the ineffability of God and how that God is higher than anything that can be the highest and at yet and yet at the same time more intimate to me than I am to myself. So for postgraduate work, I then started to think more about this idea and decided to trace it back. I went back to Noah's Ark, basically, and uh, moved through Plato. The Middle Platonists didn't excite me greatly. I read Plotinus, and I fell in love. And I'm still in love with Plotinus, my first and only great philosophical love. I then moved on to Dionysius and found the language quite, quite off-putting in a sense. Um, and all this talk about hierarchies and the theurgical aspect and so on. It was when I read Eriugena as a postdoctoral student that it began to cast a lot more light for me, that wonderful book called the Perifusion on Natures. It began to cast more light on this very Dionysian theme, the Mone, the Proodos, and the Epistrophe, not as a, a time bound happening and then going out and then returning, but as a constant, instantaneous going out of the good God from God's self um, into all things, because there is nothing else other than the good, the one, God. So it's a constant going out and returning. There can be nothing outside of God. So the Eugenian, or Eugenian idea of God being at the same time everything and nothing began to make sense in the of the Dionysian triad, the Neoplatonic triad. The mighty majestic one of Plotinus remains always, always alone and yet proceeds through all things and all things return to it, as Plotinus said on his deathbed, to give the one in myself back to the one and all, or words to that effect. So I decided to do a little more work on Eriugena and um, became fascinated the whole concept of a negative ontology. And I have written uh, for the latest Oxford Handbook on apophasis. I have written the, the, the section on Eriugena for that. Um, it's prohibitively expensive for individuals and unfortunately I am not allowed to disseminate it because of the contract I signed with Petrus, the publishers in Belgium. But I'm sure there are some ways of uh, uh, finding a summary somewhere out there. So. I have come to a very deep understanding of apophasis, not as God talk, but as God being, as there is only the one. There is nothing else, nothing can exist outside of the one. Um, I am going to continue a little bit more research uh, on Eriugena's Nachtleben as far as Cusanus, um, I was fortunate enough to be able to work with the late, great uh, Werner Bayerwaltes on Cusanus, daily non aliud in the 1980s in München, and that greatly enhanced my understanding of uh, a negative ontology, as it were. And uh, oh, I should mention that uh, one of my mentors during my very early work on Plotinus was um, Arthur Hilary Armstrong. I still have his correspondence with me. So I'm of an age now where I um, had contact with these great thinkers 
of uh, our times. You're sadly now no longer with us. And I have benefited very much from their, um, their mentorship of me as a young academic. I have since retired, as I said, from teaching, but I will never retire from thinking. You can't, of course. So I am continuing to do my research. I am still fascinated by Neoplatonism. Ken's work is absolutely fascinating, although extremely difficult um, for someone like me to understand the very technical aspect. Um, kudos to Ken for all that. So that's me. This is Deirdre Carabine sitting quietly in her study on the equator, um, working away on the one, the good, Plotinus, Eriugana, and Chrysanus. So many thanks for listening and wishing you all every success in your Neoplatonic studies. Thanks for listening. <laughs>